Good afternoon. Wanted to provide you a demo of the various controls and functions of the twin uh, here so you'd be able to check it out for yourself. But um, there's definitely been some modifications done to the amp, which I will highlight uh, as best I can and to the best of my knowledge. So the um, first one that you'll notice is that we have reverb on the normal channel. And a very healthy amount and function of that reverb as you would expect on a Fender Twin. thing that's very notable I've got the master and the channel volume uh, dimed here and I can certainly sit in front of the amp so it's not ungodly loud that channel the other channel gets uh, substantially louder when you have both volumes uh, dimed you're interested in headroom, um, in that case, this might be a good fit for you because you, you really can't get even preamp breakup, uh, even when you dime those uh, preamp volume levels. Maybe if you put in a hotter tube, or I'm not sure, I haven't really thoroughly checked to see if they've got maybe 12A T7s or 12A U7s or something along those lines. Traditional bass treble and uh, mid control. So that's just a uh, full, full treble. Turn everything down, get nothing. Um, I usually like to have a good amount of mids and somewhere in that range. Just subtle on the normal channel. Um, switching over to the uh, other channel. I'll throw it on standby, which you can see works uh, just fine. Okay. Similar tone controls. You can probably hear it's a bit louder on the vibrato channel. getting really any breakup from this thing no matter how you uh, set it even if you've got everything done Plate is 
indented all along here, the um, drill cloth isn't perfect. You've got, you know, a little bit of a fray there and it, you know, it's a little wavy and stuff like that. Now, I, uh, in regard to the vibrato, I don't know if this disabled as part of the uh, modifications. switch with it um, that I have for another pedal that I believe to work. It didn't, didn't affect it. So um, the vibrato, I, I'm not sure there if it was intentionally disabled or what we got going on there, but it's a really nice sounding amp and I must have put the guitar out of tune a little bit there with the um, vibrato or piece or something like that. In any case, uh, that gives you a pretty good idea of how this thing works and that it works. Um, I'll also create another video here that'll just kind of go through and uh, demonstrate the amp uh, from a um, condition standpoint. So I'm going to upload this one.